Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna be taking a little bit of a look at some RAM, and RAM is not exactly an exciting thing to review, but this DDR3 RAM comes courtesy of TimeTech, and I will be taking a look at some of their DDR4 RAM as well, but basically what I'm trying to do here is figure out, can you get extremely budget RAM that gives you the same performance as much more expensive RAM, and uh, do you sacrifice anything by doing so? So let's take a look. So TimeTech actually sent out a 32 gigabyte kit. That's a four by eight gigabyte kit of their DDR3L RAM running at 1.35 volts. And this is also rated at a speed of 1600 megahertz. Now I was actually able to clock mine up all the way to 2133 megahertz with some relaxed timings. So the overclocking potential for this RAM is definitely there if you're willing to play with the settings. If not, then it did boot straight into 1600 megahertz and was off to the races. Absolutely zero compatibility issues or anything. And just for your reference, I was using an FX8350 with, I believe, an RX 580 for the testing. Now I was planning on benchmarking several games with the TimeTech RAM in various different configurations, uh, two by eight configurations, four by eight configurations, uh, four by four and two by four configurations with other RAM as a comparison point. And frankly, after running all of the IDA benchmarks, there's really just no difference at all, at least any sort of real difference between the TimeTech RAM and any of the other RAM that I was trying out other than very small differences that would either fall within the margin of error for the IDA64 testing or that would be so close that it really just wouldn't make any real world effect whatsoever. So at the end of the day, all you're really giving up by buying TimeTech RAM, which claims to be 30% cheaper than some of its competitors. And of course it's referencing RAM that uh, has either fancy heat sinks, maybe even uh, RGB lighting on some of the DDR4 modules. We're just getting bare bones modules here and uh, TimeTech advertises it as being roughly 30% cheaper than some of the uh, premium RAM modules that you can get out there and you're really not giving anything up so if you're okay with buying either just flat black PCB RAM or even worse yet would be the green which would be a little bit cheaper if you're okay with something that may not be aesthetically pleasing and you just want the raw performance out of your RAM for as cheap a cost as possible this time tech RAM actually is a really good option for that and I'll leave links to their page their Amazon page that is down below in case you want to check out their different RAM configurations because they do have have uh, SODIM RAM, they have regular DIMMs, they have DDR3, DDR4, they have a lot of different options for you. So I'll leave links down below and just so you know I will be taking a look at their DDR4 2400 megahertz rated RAM as well. So if you're interested in DDR4 RAM uh, and you're still a little bit apprehensive, stay tuned in the next uh, week or so and you'll get a little bit more of a peek at their DDR4 offering. But I am very happy with the DDR3 offering, gets a big thumbs up. Links are in the description down below. I am curious as always though, do you guys use some of this budget RAM, whether it be just unbranded RAM, or I know Patriot's another RAM company that has some pretty cheap sticks as well. Let me know what type of budget RAM offerings you've used in the past and have you been happy with those? And as always, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, and comment down below. All those things are very helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.